All right, my 2006 Volvo XC90, we're gonna show you how to install a Denshin Gateway 500. Uh, first thing you're gonna do, um, turn on the car so the lights come on, hit the e-brake as far down as it goes, put this in the drive, you're gonna open up the cup holder, you're gonna stick a panel to in between here. You might be able to get away with it with your hands. Just pop up. Um, then you're gonna pull back on this. Try not to pop this cover off, but usually it just comes off. There you go. All right, now once you get this over here, just wedge it. The way it's built, it won't, you know, it's not going to scratch over here unless you pull it back, so just be careful with that. Now, there's four screws here, actually six if you count these down here. Uh, if you want to give me that camera real quick, I'll show you the screws. All right, these, uh, whoa, zoom out. All right, there's six screws down here, three on each side. This holds in the clown mate. This, this holds out in the center console. The one on top holds on the climate control. Now this one in the middle, on both sides, you see? That's the one we're gonna take off. That one holds in the, uh, the whole radio cabinet, or whatever you want to call it, cage. All right, gonna pop this out right here. Pop this out right here. Gonna put this down. All right, I gotta grab a towel or something. I just have this rubber mat. Not just, this is made more for fenders, but it does the job. Are you going to tuck it under the climate control? And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull out on this, like so, and then you're going to have to drop it down a little bit. All right, and then it just comes right out. Now, once you get back here, here's the back of the radio. Um, this fiber optic is for display, don't even look at it. This is the one we're going to be using. Um, what you're going to have to do. There's a little plastic tab in here. All right, this tab is kind of hard to get to, but you can see that it pushes in. Now, once you get that out, there's gonna be all these wires over here. You're gonna have to grab this other wire. You're gonna have to grab, there's another tab over here. You're gonna grab that and release it. And now, here's the fiber optics we're gonna work with. I'll be right back with the, uh, to show you the rest of the end. All right, now uh, you're gonna take this out of the connector it was in, um, like I showed you before. You're gonna grab one of these connectors, uh, the male ones from the box, and you're gonna plug it into here. All right. Now you're gonna grab the this connector over here that has the loose ends. You're gonna take off the blue connectors. Now this has arrows on it, so this the arrow on this side is going up this way. So you're gonna take this one and insert it into the one that follows the flow. So this side has an arrow that's going this way also. So boom, there you go. Make sure it goes all the way in, clips and locks in. Same thing with the other side. Locks in, now once that locks in, there's a little blue tab out here. You're gonna push that in, all right? Now what you're gonna do is now you have this side over here that has the blank and then um, you know the connector we just added onto the other one. This one that's naked is going to get plugged in to where you just took out the other one, like so. This one over here, which is the FEMA we just added on, is going to get plugged into the one that's over here now, that which is originally the factory one. All right, that goes in like so. All right, now when you get to the dungeon box, um, there's two sides to it. Uh, the side to the, now the engine's on top, the side to the right goes into the changer. Um, so, okay, so this plugs into here. So this goes back into the changer. So this is going into the changer. The side to the right goes onto the changer. See, like so. And then the side over here on the left, that goes over here. And your dip switches. are two and four up, everything else down. Two and four, everything else down. All right. All right, next thing we're gonna do is mount the aux and USB. Um, we're just gonna go down here. There's a, two more uh, T25 Torx. Take these two screws off. And just tuck down on this. Use a panel. Oh, I don't need to. Put it down on that. Uh, this also pops right off. All right. Have a 
and loosens up. So as soon as you loosen that up, this whole tray comes out. Now the whole tray is out, what I do is I mount the aux and USB over here. Um, that way they're out of the way but easily accessible if you ever need them. If you use the USB or the aux all the time, you might want to put it in the glove box, but I see no reason why I take up valuable space. All right, let's uh, drill into this. Bottom uh, of the little cover that goes under the uh, glove box. Um, these little screws are a pain to deal with. Um, I usually pre-drill them, but someone broke my drill bit, so um, just that was not bad today. There goes one. Be careful, you don't want to strip it. You go too hard. Um, and then the other one. This is this holds the uh, the USB in. Just grab the cable over here. And there's a little hook in the back in the middle of where it dips that you have to make sure it slides in. And then just pop it in this way and put the two screws back in. The wires can be run right here. Just tuck it out in a way. Just like that. Um, I, unlike how to's you guys see out there, I mount the brain over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect these cables. Right. And then it, I just mount it over here, out of the way. That way, it says two reasons. If a customer ever needs to get to it, they can get to it. They don't have to come in here and bother me. Because, you know, who wants to come over here? And I want to. I don't want to do warranty work, and, you know, they don't want to drive all the way over here. So this way, if they have any problems, they can take it out. They can mail it, whatever they want. Um, and then we just got to run the USB cables on there. I mean, the power cables on there. I mean, the um, fiber optic. Uh, these two cables plug in, go in there. And now, um, let's go on the other side and show you power. Alright, in this case the customer wants us to uh, install the iPod cable in, uh, in the little cubby hole right on the display. Um, to do that, you have to take off a couple of pieces. Um, you have to take off a couple of pieces. Uh, if you look around the surround here, there are one, two, I think that's it, just these two screws, two on each side. Take off that, take off that, and also make sure you don't drop them because now I gotta go look for that. Um, Might be two more. I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Now, once you get that done, if you look over here, those plastic tabs. You have to push those in, and then that releases. And the same thing on the other side. All right. Now, once you do that, this whole thing comes out. Um, See, I don't recommend taking out the whole thing because there's really no reason to do that. Um, now, the plastic pocket. Hold on one second. Let me just put this over here. Shut up. Scratch it. All right, now take the snaps back out again. See, I believe in don't disconnect anything unless you have to. 